Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome aboard the Icarus One spacecraft for a day journey to the sun. As we pull away from the Earth, ready to accelerate towards the sun, you can see our sister ship, the Icarus Three, just off our starboard bow. A moment's silence for the crew and passengers on Icarus Two. We'll be travelling towards the sun today at a speed of approximately 10 times the speed of light, which means we'll get to the sun in under a minute. When we arrive there, we will be flying from west to east across the surface of the sun at approximately an altitude of 150,000 kilometers and at a speed of approximately 70,000 kilometers per second. Initially we're flying straight to the sun, but then we're going to have to roll the spacecraft in order to fly along the uh, solar equator, which is the least dangerous part of the sun. That can be a little disorienting. So there are some green sick bags in the pocket of the chair that you are sitting on. Please use them. You can see there are some beautiful sunspots on the sun at the moment and we're aiming straight for this group uh, here in the Eastern Hemisphere. And we will start the roll procedure very shortly. Hold on to your seats. That wasn't so bad, was it? Now, we're going to swap from an optical view of the sun to a view of the sun as seen in about a million degrees. So we're seeing the hot corona of the sun and all the magnetic structures that support it. The bright areas are active regions and they are producing flares and coronal mass ejections as we fly over them. Look at this beautiful uh, structure to the right. You will notice every now and then that our forward viewing panels go dark. That is our proton shields cutting in to prevent us from being irradiated by high energy protons emitted by flares and coronal mass ejections. Shortly we'll be swapping uh, the wavelength coverage to something that sees much cooler temperatures, right about 50,000 degrees, so we can actually see the filaments and prominences that normally are associated uh, with the eruptions of coronal mass ejections. I leave you to enjoy this uh, next orbit of the Sun, seeing the same structures again, uh, but uh, in these cooler temperatures. Now we're opening the rear viewing port so you can see the same structures as we've just seen but uh, from a different perspective as we fly past them. Again we're looking here at the corona and we can see all the magnetic fields. However the dark structures here are those same filaments and prominences that you see in the cooler temperatures. They look like mini tornadoes don't they? But they aren't.
Shortly we'll be starting our fourth orbit of the Sun and once again we will turn the uh, filters on those viewports to look at the cooler materials that we saw the last time. So once again these are the exact same structures but now seen from behind rather than in front. As we come to the end of this sequence, we're going to uh, turn our monitors to the forward view again. And in the far distance, you'll be able to see our planet Earth. And we'll be traveling back there again at about 10 times the speed of light. So thank you for flying Space Adventure Airlines. If you enjoyed this trip, why not join us on another adventure soon? Our latest trip is to the planet Saturn. See Saturn set in a sea of oil on the moon Titan. Fly in and out of Saturn's beautiful rings. All aboard our most luxurious space liner yet, the Titanic 2. This service will be available shortly, as soon as we find out what happened to Titanic 1. So that's it for today. Keep safe. Bye for now.